The Liebherr A918 is a compact wheeled excavator and it has a reduced tail swing. It weighs around 20 tonnes and this model of the A918 is in the colours of Dibby, a German contractor. The model comes in a slightly unusual Liebherr branded box because it's got a window so you can see the model sitting inside. And when you pull it out the packaging just consists of an expanded polystyrene tray with a clear plastic former on top. So getting the model out is easy peasy, you just take off the lid and then you can easily pull the model out. It's high quality so you just have to be a little bit careful not to damage any of the small parts. One thing that the model celebrates is that the real machine won a Red Dot Design Award and there's a little sticker about it in the box. With the model out the only other thing to do is to unwrap some tape, there's a bit around the bucket because the pins are removable so it stops those falling out. And there's another bit around the connection of the boom and the stick which is probably protecting the hydraulic hoses. <laughs> Diving in straight underneath and it's a detailed model with the transmission fully modelled and the large chunky tyres are particularly good. The wheels are metal and nicely detailed and there's also a stabilising blade at one end. The cab is very good with fine window seals and there are thin metal grab rails. The interior detail is very good too. The Dibby colour scheme looks very nice and it's enhanced by lots of good graphics. And the paintwork on the Liebherr name and the lights is excellent. There are plenty of warning graphics and the panel handles have also been highlighted with paint. Up on top the detail continues with highlighted hinges, a video camera and plenty of hydraulic hoses. The modelling of the hydraulics is a strong point for this model and the connection rivets are really small and unobtrusive. At the end of the stick the quick coupler is modelled well as is the metal bucket. Here at Cranes Etc the team is just like anywhere else. There are some that do the work and others who just hang around. Model boxes always play an important part in getting a model delivered safely. The designs vary and some are completely boring, and others have graphics or artwork to represent what's inside the box. But one thing you should not do is throw the box away or feed it to the dog, because if you ever want to sell the model, having the box increases the value. Out on the test track the Liebherr rolls along fine and it's low emissions except for the moaning of the person who has to push it. The wheels turn easily without being completely free rolling and there is steering on the front axle which has been engineered well because it can adopt quite a tight angle and it does that without the tyres being fouled. For digging the A918 doesn't have any purpose built stabilisers but it does use the blade as a stabilising mechanism and it can also use it as a dozer. And the good thing on the model is that it's all pleasantly stiff, so it holds any pose you set. As you would expect, the body rotates, and it does that without any hint of rocking or rolling. Moving on to the digging functions, an NZG normally does a good job of this, and this model is no exception. It's got a good and realistic range of movement, and all the cylinders are stiff enough that they'll hold any pose that you want to set. And if you want to fold it up small to make a transport load, that's no problem too. There's also a couple of neat features with the digging bucket on this model and the first is that it tilts side to side so that allows the driver to do some more artistic work such as shaping embankments. Another nice feature which really all excavator models should have is the ability to remove the bucket and it's simple enough to do on this one you just pull out a couple of silver pins and then the bucket's easily disconnected and that gives another display option of showing the machine carrying out some simple lifting operations. The Liebherr A918 by NZG is a high quality model. The level of detail is very good and there are plenty of interesting features. This version in Dibby colours was only made in a limited run of 300 models, so if you want something that's a little bit rarer, it's highly recommended. <laughs> 